When it comes to using Ethernet cable in your home network, there's actually quite a lot to choose from, despite them all looking very similar from the outside. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most commonly used types of Ethernet cable and help you determine which is best for your home network. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Home Network Geek, where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoy the video, be sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to turn on notifications. Now before we take a look at the differences between the cables, let's first take a look at what they actually are and how they work. Cat5, Cat5e and Cat6 are some of the most commonly used types of Ethernet cables uh, in a home network and these are the ones that we'll be looking at today. Cat5 is short for Category 5 and it has its name as it uses the fifth generation of twisted pair Ethernet technology. It contains four pairs of copper wires that are twisted together to provide a fast Ethernet connection. Cat5e is short for Cat5 Enhanced and is a step up from Cat5. It utilizes all four pairs of the twisted wires to provide better support for gigabit Ethernet. It's also backwards compatible with older devices that support the Cat5 connection. Cat6 is the sixth generation of twisted pair Ethernet and is another step up again from Cat5e. It offers better performance than both Cat5 and Cat5e, supporting up to 10 gigabit Ethernet. Just like with Cat5e, Cat6 uses all four pairs of the twisted wires and is also backwards compatible with Cat5 and Cat5e. At a quick glance, all Ethernet cables can appear to be the same, regardless of whether they're Cat5, Cat5e or Cat6. You can't really use the colour of the jacket or the thickness of the cable to differentiate them and they'll all use an RJ45 connector. The best way to identify your Ethernet cable is to read the text that's printed on the outside of the jacket. This should tell you which standard the cable meets, as well as the amount of bandwidth that it's capable of transmitting. Now if you're purchasing Ethernet cable online, obviously the product description should give you the category of the cable. If you're in any doubt though, contact the retailer and they should be able to answer your question. Now that you have an overview of the different types of Ethernet cable, let's take a look at some of the main differences between them. The first main difference is the cost to buy. Just like with any other technology, you can expect to have to pay more for the newer, more advanced technology. You can typically expect to pay around 10 to 20% more for Cat6 cable compared with Cat5e, with the faster speeds being the justification for the price. Still, the cost for the cabling is relatively low when you consider some of the other equipment you might want in your home network. Cat6 cable can be worth that extra little bit of investment especially if you have devices that will actually take advantage of the faster speeds that it offers. The second difference between the cables is actually in regards to speed. So how much faster really is Cat6 cable compared with Cat5 and Cat5e? Speed is actually one of the most important factors that you need to consider when it comes to cabling your home network. Now it does make sense to solve for Cat6 when it is faster than Cat5 or Cat5e, but something to keep in mind is that the type of cable you use should be equivalent to the devices you're connecting to take a full advantage of it. You simply won't get the full benefit of using a Cat6 cable when you're connecting it to a device that only supports transfer speeds of around 10 megabytes per second, for example. Cat5 cable can support speeds of up to 100 megabytes per second with a maximum bandwidth of 100 megahertz. Cat5e is capable of supporting one gigabit ethernet again with a maximum bandwidth of 100 MHz. Cat6 supports faster speeds and more bandwidth, supporting 10 gigabit ethernet and 250 MHz bandwidth respectively. The next difference comes down to length. As they're all made of copper wires, Cat5, Cat5e and Cat6 are all designed to transfer data over a relatively short distance. Manufacturers recommend a maximum distance of 100 meters or 328 feet to get the absolute most of your ethernet cable. Given that they are a more recent standard, it is possible to get Cat5e and Cat6 cable that can be 300 meters in length, but any single length past 100 meters and you'll likely start running into some issues. The take home message here is to keep a single length of cable under 100 meters, regardless of the type that you use. Cat5, Cat5e and Cat6 all use twisted pair cables made of copper wire. Typically you find eight individual wires that have been twisted together to form four pairs. As Cat6 has more stringent specifications compared to the likes of Cat5, the wiring found inside is slightly different. The wires are twisted slightly tighter and you'll find a separator is incorporated in the Cat6 design designed to isolate the four twisted pairs. As a result of this, Cat6 cable offers significantly less interference 
and crosstalk compared with Cat5 and Cat5e. Crosstalk is a disturbance caused by the magnetic or electrical fields of one signal affecting another. This can occur when lots of cables are close to each other and cause interference as a result. Some of the issues caused by crosstalk can include errors and loss of packets, so you definitely want to avoid it wherever you can. Improved shielding is also used in the Cat6 design to help reduce the impact of crosstalk. Now it is tempting to use Cat6 cable or even perhaps Cat7 cable across your entire home network just to cover your bases. But is it really worth it? There's nothing wrong with this as such, but you could ultimately end up paying more for Cat6 cable when you're not actually taking full advantage of it. It really comes down to the sorts of speeds that you receive into your home network as well as the types of devices that you're using. My recommendation for your average home network that you and I have would be to opt for Cat5e cable. The speeds that Cat5e is capable of is perfectly suited for most people. Although you may want to consider Cat6 cable if you're lucky enough to receive ultra fast speeds just for a bit of future proofing. In the future when internet speeds are faster, we'll all likely want to be using Cat6 cable, but for now, Cat5e cable does the job just nicely. If you're looking for some ethernet cables for your own home network, I'll leave links to some recommendations in the description box below. You'll also find a link to my recommended gear page where you'll find other networking hardware such as routers, switches and power line adapters that you may want to check out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to turn on those notifications. Finally, head on over to homenetworkgeek.com where we've got a ton of articles on everything home networking. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.